guys, Jason here with Bounce Wave and Inflatable Sales. I want to take a few minutes and run over some different looks of dollies for you guys. Some uh, some basic dollies that some of the you beginners go and buy. I did that 20 years ago. Um, and then what what probably we should do? What what is the right investment of the right dolly? One time, it's going to last you for years and actually help you get the job done. So uh, I'm here with Diamondback Dollies. We have Ralph over here as well. He uh, owns and makes these dollies. These guys are. Uh, professional welders they actually do more than just dollies they, they do commercial welding all the way all around Florida as well um, but they're building these for us and they're awfully awfully good we started with tan uh, I kind of like this orange the tan was more of a, a duller look so we, we believe that the powder coating may uh, hold on a little better but uh, but we've we've spent a lot of extra money to get these powder coated right and get a little shine to them so we're thinking about this being an option in orange um, so this is the dolly as you can see everything welded Amazingly, very, very heavy duty boat axle or trailer uh, axle for for, um, for small cargo and boats uh, that you'll find here. These dollies will hold 1,500 pounds with no problem. Um, and they're gonna have the larger tires on it to help you get through the floor tan, the sand. The sand, it, it doesn't mean it's gonna do it for you, but it's the easiest way manually that you're gonna do it. Uh, upside to bigger wheels and tires if you're going over rough terrain you let a little bit of air out of them it's going to make that transition a little smoother um, downside to bigger well easier to roll once once you're moving as well downside to bigger tires you got to go over more tire to get the unit back which makes it a little tougher but these dollies we have a fix for that i'll show you in a moment uh, that actually gets it back relatively easy for you so going over it you got the extension of the flanges here to help secure the unit uh, inside the dolly you got protectors here so that way the if it's not that great of a roll and the bottom's a little loose, it doesn't get under the tires. Ratchet strap here um, to put around the dolly as well. That will ratchet right back in. That'll go around the unit. Some of you use that, some of you won't. So this is a four-wheel version. We have a two and a four. This is a four-wheel version. Um, but as you can see, the wheels are put up. That's a little different than most companies who lay them down. The problem is when you put them down and, and pin them in, um, they tend to take more room at the base. So if I'm in a trailer, the thing with a four-wheel dolly, as you can see here when it's laying down, if you put it in the trailer like this, of course it takes up a lot of room. So we wanna be able to set it up um, and, and utilize the space in our trailer. So when we, when we latch these wheels up, it then takes care of, it gives me a lot more space. And that's why we went that route um, to do it this way, which is a pretty unique way of doing it. Uh, but but I actually like it. Here's a, 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 I don't know, a hanger where you can put your strap around that clevis there to make sure it's secure. And you'll see a couple things like this. Dang, I'm gonna show you what it's for in just a minute. So how do you get these tires down and lock them off? You'll show them. This is the four wheel version. So you're at the job. You simply just unclip it, get it down to about its level point there, pop the pin in. And that's about a, what is it, 30,000 pounds here? Yeah. Roughly that pin's not gonna go anywhere and then you automatically got a full wheel dolly. It's that that quick and that easy. You get it back in the trailer, Ralph, the show them. You wanna put back up. Look how well this tight this is balanced. This dolly is not, no matter if the wheels are down or up, you don't have to hold the dolly in at all, even with this extra weight. Guys, you gotta understand angle and balance of a dolly is important. When you get these dollies in a yard that's a little uneven and such, it's not wanting to fall over as you're wanting to put an inflatable on it. Let's use common sense. I mean, if you're on a big slope there, I'll show you, we have a brake system, but you know, with common sense, if you're on in floor tan grass, a little uneven, a little, a little bit unlevel, these things are pretty, this is with the additional, the tires up on the back, but they're, they're just the angle of the dolly and the position of the axle, everything matters when it comes to balance. Uh, so hopefully you can appreciate that. Again, this is the four wheel setup down, as you can see with the pen. Um, you can pull a unit back with the wheels down. See, because our brake system, if you hone in on the brake system, Chris, around from the side over here, yep. Our brake system, and back behind me a little bit so you can see, our brake system, I can still get a lot of leverage and get to my unit from here and pull back with these wheels down, no problem. Or you can do them with them up. Either way, if I had this, you know, which we do, we use it, but I would just pull back right between the wheels. Why is this so far back? That's what gives me my leverage, right? So if my brake system's up here, I don't have quite the leverage. But if I'm here, set back, and look how tight it gets on the wheels. It actually works and works well. I can then stretch back here, get me a little rock going, boom, and I get the leverage I need to get the unit back 
and then I'm off and running. So this is the four wheel version. And we do make these as well with the winch and cable set up that's awfully good. This is the two wheel version. So the four wheel version is $16.99. The two wheel version is $11.99. This is the two wheel version. As you can see, it will not have the two wheels that come off the back to lay it down, all right? But same idea here as you can see the leverage that I can create. I can, I can rock a piece back and forward. I can strap it and just pull it back it, the way the dolly is angled is 80% of the battle. The way that it's balanced, I mean, look how well this dolly is balanced. It is balanced just amazingly well. And another kind of cool thing too, there's a, there's a spot in this dolly that's so leveraged right here that you barely have to hold it. And if you wanted to take a break, and I'll show you with almost a 500 pound piece, if you want to take a break, you can actually take a break without any, any resistance on your shoulders, okay? So these dollies are the best out there. They're absolutely um, amazing. The braking system, just to show you. So most manual dollies do not have a braking system. Uh, electric dollies will just because of the gearing in most cases in reverse or whatnot, or you can kind of get the brakes put on them just based off their gears. And then you say, well, I have electric dollies. I don't need a manual dolly, but if the electric dolly goes out, you're kind of stuck. I have them too. We rent, uh, you can show them back there, we rent all the way around this building, it's a lot of my rental fee. So, you know, we have them as well, but we also have these for backup dollies because when a driver doesn't charge a battery or when a, whatever goes out or anything happens, they can grab these and go and they're not using uh, dollies from tractor supply. So how do we get, put the braking system in, Ralph, I'll show you. So this is the only one in a trailer or anything like that that you can install the brake system. You just push the pin in and pull it back, Ralph, and you'll see now, come off of some, Chris, and you'll see now that those tires are completely locked up for a manual dolly. So if it was moving or something like that on you and you needed it to be stable while you get the unit up to it, you could do that. Pop the pin right back out. Now, why we screwed it in here for the show them, Chris? It's screwed in here so you will not lose the pin. And also on the four wheel, that is also screwed in with a tether so the driver will not lose the pin. When you take it out of here, there's a hole right here for it. You just pop that in there and it will not come out. He'll show you how that goes. So now you don't want it locked up anymore. You pop the pin back out and put it in the hole right there, and then that way it doesn't get lost, and off you go. So, same thing with the ratchet strap and the height, right? So I like to roll about nose high. I think that's the best kind of roll, personal preference, because I like the inflatable to sit back on the dolly to about here. If I front load the inflatable, if it's short, fat, and round, it makes my dolly front heavy, and anything I hit, it makes me want to throw forward, and it doesn't give me leverage from the back side of the dolly. That's important, right? So over here, if you'll back off, this is our color we started with, our standard color, which we could do for you if you were to want it, but I think we're gonna to go to the orange. We're, we're in discussion about that. Uh, this has the more matte look. Um, so this is the two wheel dolly that you just seen. This is not the four wheel, same idea, not much difference in the two. So if I didn't strap this piece, okay, if I didn't strap it, I could rock this piece back and forth and pull it back very easily. This is an 18 foot um, water slide, close to 500 pounds or right at 500 pounds. Um, so the, the beauty of this dolly, I, I can even rock it with the strap on, as you can see, right? And you'll see how heavy duty this dolly really is, right? So if I wanna rock this dolly back, if I really gotta get after it, let's say I'm going to 700 pounds, which gets up there for one guy working with it, um, you know, we gotta have momentum forward, and momentum back, right? So if this is short and fat, if this was only here and I'm trying to reach through here to pull it back and it's sticking out, to here, I have no chance of getting leverage of all that back. That's why we don't roll like that. We wanna bring it up here, we wanna rest it on our shoulder, we wanna get bite on the dollar. So if I gotta pull this back, I can just tinker with it a little bit and pop it back. So here's that balance point I was talking about that you can get to with this dolly. As you can see, I really don't have much going on with it. So there's a little bit of stability right here, you can see it, right? But you don't see me having to sit here and just hold you know, the bearing weight of this unit. If I want to take a break, I get it right to about this point right here, and that's a pivot point. I can actually just take a minute and relax because it's balanced so well. Here's another cool thing too, especially if you have drivers. They run in, and no matter what they do, they slam these units forward. I don't know if you've ever seen it. You guys have been around a while. You're laughing right now because you have seen it, right? So they don't ease them down. They don't ride them down. They slam them down. If you buy this dolly and they have to slam them down, it gives you great reason to fire them. And I can tell you what, watch this. I can ride this all the way down with no problem and stand on it. I can pull a piece back. This guy's, look, this dolly is heavy duty. 
It's not, you know, I can almost pull it back just by playing up here. See, it's not, you know, your average dollar. You have to understand where I'm coming from. We put a lot of time into it. It's the best product on the market. So you new guys that are gonna go out there and say, well, you know, I just can't do 11.99. We're down at Rural King, we're down at Track Supply. This is from Sam's Club, I think. And this is gonna tell me, because it does, when I bought it 27,000 years ago, that it has a 1,000 pound capacity, right? Okay. And we use this in my warehouse. We don't use it for... Oh, I gotta tell you, go get them, killer. Right? That's what you look like. Now, take that through floor tan grass, up a hill, down a hill, sideways. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with it? Now let's walk over here. Right? So if we're gonna do this, so, so there's two ways to start a business and do a business. One way is, let me do it the cheapest way I can. Let me make it as miserable as possible so maybe it won't work. And that's the wrong way to start a business. So I tell people all the time, they'll call me and they'll go, well, I got a budget of this, I'm just starting out. And one of the first things I say, whether I was selling dollies or not, you better get a good dolly. 20 years of it, you better get a good dolly, right? And I know the electrics are all the rave these days and they deserve to be. And we'll be coming to see you with uh, something like that here very soon. But I could tell you, if you came to me and I sold electrics, I would tell you, don't buy 50 electrics and no manuals because if you have drivers or you're out, you need a manual. You need something to work when the electric goes down. Guys, electric dolly is not gonna last forever. The, the, the switches go out, the batteries go dead. They're out in the weather, they're out in the rain. They're not completely bulletproof. There's some dang good ones out there, don't get me wrong, but these are facts, I've got them. And there are times we've gotta use a manual dolly because there's an electric that's down. And if you have drivers and they don't strap them right in the trailer and they bang on them, and, you know, the list goes on and on. I, I won't get too in depth with that, but I can tell you I've done it. I know what's gonna happen to you. And having a good dollar, having a quality dollar will set your mind at ease. This is reasonably priced for the amount of money we put into them and the way that they're built and welded. It's not half canned. This is done right. This is done with, with, with pride and we've put a lot of, lot of research and development and time to these. I'll show here very soon some videos of us going up trailer gates and things like that with them. But as you can see, I mean, when you take a 500 pound piece, again, it's leverage. So it's angle of dolly. Don't overlook this. Trust me when I tell you this. It's, it's, it's balanced. So when I go to the stop and I have to lift this piece up, I can set that dolly right there in front of me set it down without worrying, you know, oh, it's teetering, oh, it's falling back, or oh, it's going to the side, or oh, it's going forward. No, you can see, very well balanced. So even if I'm on a little incline with my dolly, I'm still pretty good, as you can see, because I gotta get to here before I start to lose it, right? So if I'm gonna flip the piece up from here, it's nice to know if I'm by myself that I don't have to sit there and babysit the dolly and worry about the dolly falling over as I'm over here trying to get an 18-foot slide up on its end and set it right up to the plate to where it's ready to go. And again, I mean, it's pretty basic. You know, if I don't want to do all the rocking and banging, I can just stand up here and leverage right back. That's a done deal. And as far as movability, it really just doesn't get any easier. Oh, shoot, there's a, there's a dolly that you're going to choose. Uh, this is concrete, so yeah, it's easier to um, move around. Again, that's that balance point I was telling you guys about. Uh, this is concrete, so yeah, and grass, you're gonna have to get a little more ump. It is a manual dolly, it's not electric. But guys, I think you get my point. And again, I'll ride it back down instead of slamming it because if you have enclosed trailers and these guys are slamming these water slides down on your enclosed trailer, that's what's happening to your floors, by the way. But if they'd ride them down like such, it's a lot easier on your equipment. So Diamondback dollies, guys, backed by Bounce Wave. We can build them relatively quickly, $500 deposit. If you wait till March, we're already building ahead now. If you wait till April, May, you're gonna find yourself in water season without the right dolly. If you're just starting out, I'll tell you what I'll do. You don't have to buy the dolly from me. You don't have to buy an inflatable from me. If you wanna come check it out and learn what the right dolly is and tilt some of my units back and let us show you what we think, happy to do it, no obligation. Shop's right here in Central Florida. 888-901-WAVE, you can give us a call. Chris Blake, any of those guys can help you. Best dollars in the country, really fair price for the quality you're getting, 888-901-WAVE.